There was a League of Legend battle for two and a half hours yesterday on ESPN2. It's the same with professional wrestling. It's for booger eaters. It's a huge deal. It gets bigger than the Super Bowl in other countries. If I am ever forced to cover video games, I will retire. Oh, my God! Somebody lock the basement door at mom's house and don't let them out. Actually, all of these gamers are sponsored professionals who compete for tens of millions of dollars in what is nearly a billion dollar industry, and it's growing faster than anyone can keep up with. Esports, or competitive gaming, is the business of loaded stadiums, massive online streams, and millions of ad and sponsorship dollars built around skill-intensive video games and the audiences that can't get enough of them. Thanks to modern bandwidth and platforms like Twitch, esports audience has roughly doubled in the last two years. Two of the biggest esports, League of Legends and Dota 2, have achieved viewership that tops that of both the NBA Finals and the World Series. Counter-Strike has landed multiple deals with major broadcasters like Turner to bring the 16-year-old shooter to cable TV. Colin Cowherd's assumption that the pros live in their mom's basement is completely off base. Esports' biggest names all enjoy international fame, huge sponsorship contracts, and really sweet $400 gaming chairs. 1.7 billion people play games, and 205 million of those people watched or played esports in 2014 alone. You might think, why would anyone want to watch people play video games? I think the evidence speaks for itself. Oh my god, he's gonna be able to hit it! A few last hits! Oh he got my it. god, he wins 